Number seven, Kansas State women's basketball lost to unranked Iowa State. And Iowa State was a bubble team, 96 to 93 in double overtime. And honestly, it was 72 apiece prior to going to overtime. But then the, after the first overtime, it was 80 apiece. And I'm going to double check real fast. And I apologize for looking down if. And Iowa State would have got a stop. In that first overtime, they would have won the game in the first one. Be because Aoka Lee made a jumper, assisted by Gavin Gregory as time expired. Or close to it. For Kansas State, and she played in this game for the first time in a long time. But I will say, there was some foul game going on with the last 35 seconds or so, which... Is very detailed, but I'm going to start start with the ninth, around 19 seconds. Serena Sunda from Kansas State fouled, and Addie Brown made both free throws, so 90 to 87. For Iowa State, and Bradley Glenn made, made a little assisted by Terrence Sides around 12 seconds later. Terrence Sides had to foul one second, around one second later. And Lee Ryan went to the line 92 to 89 after making both free throws for Iowa State. Kansas State called a timeout to advance the ball, and Giselle Sanchez made. A layup, no, so 92-91. Terrence Sides from Kansas State fouled around 7 seconds left. And Amy Ryan made both free throws, so 94-91 in Kansas State. Call timeout, Giselle Sanchez made a layup and assisted by Terrence Sides and fouled Giselle Sanchez. And Addie Brown made both free throws around 3 seconds left. And obviously Kansas State didn't get the shot up in time, so they won the game. Now I'm going to go over stats, and I apologize if I'm looking down. Well, points on turnovers favored Kansas State, 21 to 15. Fast break points was 2 to 0 in favor of Kansas State. Points in the paint favored Kansas State, 40 to 34. But obviously, there's more to the game than that. And Kansas State did not shoot the ball bad in this game. 43.6% from the field on 78 attempts. Made a 30 or threes on 24 attempts. 85% on free throws on 20 attempts. 39 rebounds. 10 of those offensive. 19 assists. 7 steals. 9 blocks. Which 7 of those were by Aoka Lee. 14 assists. 27 fouls. And 19 points off the bench. And 5 double digit scores. That combined for okay, 20 plus 20. That's 40 plus 14. That's 54 plus 13, that's 67, 77 points, plus, that's including plus 10, and, and one player with six or more points with seven, and Iowa State did have, okay, seven plus 10, that's 17 plus 13, that's 30 points off the bench, and five double digit scores are combined for, okay, 20 plus 20, that's 40, plus 12, that's 52, plus 10, that's 62, Plus 13, that's 75. So, and three, uh, the rest of the players combined for the rest of the points. As in 6 plus 8, that's 14. Plus 7, that's 21 points. So, yeah. Twelve plus 10, that's 22. Plus 13, that's 35. Yep, 75. Just want to double check that real fast. I'm sorry. 41.8% from the field on 67 attempts for Iowa State. 47.4% on threes on 19 attempts. 86.1% on free throws on 36 attempts. 47 rebounds, 12 of those offensive. 25 assists, 6 steals, 2 blocks, 19 turnovers, 20 fouls. So what are these two teams that are going for? Now, I would not want to face this Kansas State team now with Aoka Lee, to be honest. Going forward. Especially now that she's back and healthy. But that doesn't mean they're invincible by any, any stretch of the imagination. They got UCF at home. You got West Virginia at home. You got uh, Kansas, which last time Kansas played Kansas State. Tatiana Jackson didn't play most of that game because of injury. You could check reasons why. And New York Lee didn't play. So that'll be an intriguing game right there. Battle two bigs down low. 
he got Iowa State at home, um, at home, so he gave a revenge game potential. And then you got Texas Tech on the road, which they're reeling right now. And Iowa State, your last five games goes as well as at Texas, which that number five Texas at that, that's not an easy game. But hey, there's an opportunity to make sure you get ready in the NCAA tournament. You got at Houston, BYU. Then you got to go on the road to Kansas State again, which that's not going to be easy. You let them beat them once, let alone twice. And then you got Cincinnati at home. You have to make sure Iowa State not to get any more bad losses like a UCF. I'm just telling the truth. Or, or Kansas on you because, or even Texas Tech. Because you're on the bubble right now. And this win will definitely help, but you cannot hurt yourself with more bad losses. Because if you do, you might miss the tournament. Anyways, if you like this content, hit like and subscribe. See you guys later on the road to 600 subscribers. Of course, ultimate goal is a thousand more. So, make money out of this course. Like the video, comment the video. really helps the YouTube background so more people can see it. Sharing the video does help as well so more people can watch. And if you're watching and not subscribed, hit subscribe button. Screen the notification bell as well.